Capricorn. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 8th to the 14th of May 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Thank you to everyone who is watching. If you enjoy the reading, if you click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and the share button. I think they're all down here somewhere, but very, very, very much appreciated. Thank you. But we'll begin. 8th to the 14th of May 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Capricorn. Overall, Queen of Swords. Wow. This is how it is. <laughs> it's pretty much how I go with this, um, the Queen of Swords. Very direct, very upfront, um, maybe even a whole different approach towards something or someone, but you're pretty much laying it on the line. You're taking action, but you're taking action your way, and it's like, this is how it is. Past energies, you have the Emperor, Five of Swords, the Chariot. May have connection to Aries or Cancer here. In the past, you felt like you're just banging your head against a brick wall and always getting nothing but one hell of a headache here. This is about being able to walk away from some sort of battle to continue moving forward. And this is still a victory in itself. You're in control of the situation. You make that decision whether or not you get one hell of a headache or whether you continue to move forward possibly in another direction but it beats getting that headache so being in control of the situation divine masculine energy very brave very confident very logical in making a decision here around this battle that you seem to be contending with in the past present energies king of wands four of pentacles eight of cups you do know what you want, who you want, and where you want to be here. And I feel like there's some sort of emotional attachment that you do feel bound to. Maybe it's some sort of legal contract. I always say if a separation is involved, you've got kids involved, there's always going to be a tie to somebody in particular there. But this is about being able to walk away, detach emotionally, and see the grass may be greener on the other side, but be able to release from that energy there. A legal contract you're trying to break free from, finding those loopholes, always say legally and morally, but ultimately maintaining this focus here of what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. Future energies, Prince of Pentacles, Justice, Ace of Cups exactly from this flow on effect from your present energies a long slow drawn out process possibly a legal battle of some sort it could be a divorce you're going through but a favorable outcome sweet justice good karma good result may have connection to a libra but we know that those legal battles do take forever Others of you, just to get a fair outcome of any sort here, to have your sweet justice may have been a long time coming, but that justice is here now, and you are able to start some sort of new chapter here. When it comes to love, a job you love, a home you love, or love love. But ultimately, being prepared down here, that it is a bit of a drawn out process. Wow. Okay, so Capricorn, let's clarify everything, starting with the Queen of Swords overall. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands. A lot of hard work that you are putting in here um, to get things to progress and take off. You do have this confidence and determination to chase your dreams and your ideas here because you've had them on, in sight for a long time. You've had to dodge a lot of obstacles to get onto solid ground and to have that clarity, that clear path ahead to continue chasing after these dreams. It's come with a lot of hard work to even see some results start to take off. Past energies, the Emperor. You get the tower, the high priestess, the magician, supernova energy. I say when you have four arcanas, bam, just like that. Okay, so you may have your guard up a bit from something that has been happening in the past, possibly this 
banging your head against the brick wall we mentioned. You've been manifesting a way around things and manifesting a way forward here. And I feel like it has taken one tower moment to allow this all to happen. And this tower moment has released everything out into the universe, allowing the dust to settle and then being able to focus on that clear path ahead that that chariot is about to take you on. But first there is this battle. You either stay or you walk away. Temperance, Nine of Swords, the Star. A lot of Arcanas back here. So very powerful energy around this battle you've been contending with. Of course, a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of overthinking of things. But throughout all of this, you've maintained focus, focus on your dreams, your wishes, your hopes. May have connection to an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. This is about going with the flow. And that brick wall you kept coming, about, coming up against was a brick wall that seemed to prevent that flow from moving forward um, almost like a dam a flow of water coming up against a dam and it took that tower moment to crumble everything maybe a few white water rafting episodes to begin with as um, the water surges forward or the energy surges forward but then things start start to settle and that chariot can start moving at a steady pace so the chariot here, wow, and there you go, love it when that happens, double dose, boom, the chariot on the chariot, two of wands, the lovers, could be dealing with Cancer or Gemini here, soulmate twin flame, somebody, um, somebody significant, I say that every single time, somebody significant wouldn't come out um, but maybe an existing relationship could be somebody brand new balancing this chariot out you have this focus on where you're heading you know you've got to keep moving towards these goals and these dreams but that chariot may have been going around and around in a circle when it was just um, you you on board if that makes sense this is a partnership balancing that energy out so it goes in that forward direction towards your goals and your dreams Present energies, King of Wands, Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Emperor. May have connection to Aries here, divine masculine energy, very brave, very confident, very level headed, very logical. You have that Emperor back up there as well. May also have connection to Taurus, but there is success here in chasing your dreams and going absolutely just going for it is what I'm seeing here there may be a bit of peer pressure being put on you to change direction of where you're going whether it's your end result whether it's the journey to get there that peer pressure is being put on you right there and this is following your heart following your gut following your beliefs and saying I'm doing this my way you had that Queen of Swords overall where I said, this is it, this is how we're doing it. And this is pretty much the Hierophant as well. I'm doing this my way and you're on, you're on board, you're going for it. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. Knight, Queen, King of Cups, but we'll go with the power couple there. When it comes to being in control of your emotions here with an offer of love now this may be a job you love a home you love it may be love love existing relationship somebody brand new you're proud of how far you've come emotionally you're in control of your emotions you're not letting your heart run away with you but this offer of love is something that may be coming on board to help release whatever it is that you're hanging on to with that four of pentacles May have connection to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as we head into the Eight of Cups. Justice, you have that here, Nine of Cups, King of Wands, you have that here. So yeah, similar energies here, love and happiness, that is there for the taking. I say take it with both hands and run with it, but um, your sweet justice, your good karma, being able to detach emotionally from someone or something that you have felt bound and stuck to in order to get this next chapter on the move because again you know what you want who you want where you want to be 
and that sweet justice may be heading your way because it gets down here and it's here it may have connection to libra but future energies patience prince of pentacles sometimes a snail may move faster take those there's three there ace of swords the moon and the eight of pentacles clearing the crap out from the past may have connection to pisces here but you're very hard working very focused very dedicated you're not wanting to turn your back on the world or on others or a situation here it's taking a long time to get through this whole process it's taking all the hard work here but helping that would be to clear the crap out from the past that is cluttering everything up here that moon's giving you that clarity to see what can be cleared out and what can be kept here um, and it may speed the process up into this sweet justice so capricorn justice you get the world the sun holy moly and the ten of cups <laughs> I hope this is for all of you if it's the case a result that is definitely in your favor bringing you all the happiness in the world brilliance happiness warm fuzzy feelings joy everything that is falling into place now the backing of the world this is your moment and you're ready to shine and you're making the most of this a lot of emotional happiness contentment even support that's flooding in if it's around a legal battle of some sort but ultimately i feel like this is coming out in your favor big time wow so capricorn to finish ace of cups princess of pentacles princess of cups three of pentacles well, there is an offer being made here to work together when it comes to love. It's still maybe a job you love, a home you love, but I feel this is more love, love. Existing relationship, somebody brand new, it is working together, building a solid foundation together from the ground up. But um, an offer that is worth looking at, it's maybe a whole new chapter that you're about to embark on together, but you're going to make that solid from the ground up. So Capricorn, let's see what the universe says. Queen of Wands, the Deceiver. Oops, got some upside down here. Princess of Swords. And here's back to this Queen of Swords overall. This is how it's going to roll. This is how I'm rolling. This is how it's going to happen. Like it or lump it pretty much especially with this negative toxic energy that may be here trying to prevent everything from progressing forward may have connection to another capricorn but it is it's pretty much you're nipping this in the bud before it gets out of hand here bring it on you're ready for this next journey this next journey does not include any negative or toxic or unhealthy energy on board that is all cleared out in that tower moment back there and pretty much again this is how it is so let's finish and see what open spirit oracle says i've gone back to this oracle to finish capricorn be all in give life everything you've got i love that picture too brilliant immerse yourself in life be all in and not half-hearted about your goals and dreams with the curiosity of a child dive into an experience that offers you passion and joy live fully love generously gift yourself permission to be happy happiness and enthusiasm lift your vibration bringing the spirit world closer to you your spiritual guides and loved ones rejoice when you fully embrace your life. Give it all you've got, Capricorn. So that's what I have. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.